Hi guys, welcome back to Foundation Friday. Today I'm going to be testing out the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Powder Foundation. It is the full coverage powder and I lost the intro to this video. So this is my bare face and now we're going to jump in to the video. <laughs> I went on the website here, it says, covers like a liquid and mattifies with no cakey look. This powder is more affordable and more long wearing than the leading prestige powder. Infallible fresh wear foundation in a powder weightless texture gives you full coverage and a natural matte finish that looks fresh hour after hour. The formula feels breathable and weightless, leaving the skin feeling comfortable for up to 24 hours. Oh, this retails for $14.99 and of course it depends on where you get it. There's some really great images on here as well that just show like before and afters and they look so, so good. I'll put them up on the screen so you guys can see. The model does have really nice skin to begin with and I obviously have, you know, some acne scarring and like redness and very imperfect skin their shade range is not great but there is 16 shades available they just go from really light but there's not a lot of dark shades that's like a big common thing in the drugstore world though of foundations like come on it's 2021 let's get more shades out there maybe it's just a newer product and they'll release more but that really does suck. In the how-to, it says apply the skin using the included sponge applicator designed to have a smooth surface for enhanced blendability. It can be used wet for full coverage or dry for medium buildable coverage. Oh, I have oily combination skin. My cheeks tend to be on the drier side, but then my T-zone gets really oily throughout the day. I do not wear powder foundation. I don't think I've ever worn a powder foundation except for the bare minerals, you know, the like whole swipe thing back in the day, but I only did that at one time I remember like my aunt gave it to me a Mac uh, compact that I have in my purse it's very full coverage and it's one of my favorites for touch-ups because I can touch up under my eye I can touch up any breakouts really really good stuff I absolutely love it but I've never worn it on its own so I'm very excited to see how I like this I do want my under eye area to be like a little bit lighter so I think I'm just gonna go in with my essence color corrector I really love using this under my eye just for like a little bit of brightness this is such a thin formula it almost feels like water but you could see it like lightly brighten up my under eye area so now i can confidently go into this powder oh i'm so excited to try this out I think that I need a padded in versus swipe. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I do have moisturizer on and eye cream under my eyes. I applied it like an hour ago or so. But I don't think that that should at all mess with how this goes on. But so far, it definitely looks very, like, dry, especially kind of clinging on. Like, right here, I have, like, hair, <laughs> and it's really clinging on to it. I typically take the hair off with, like, one of the little, I always forget what it's called, but, like, the little um, razors, and I do it usually twice a month. It's been a while since I've did it, and so I feel like I definitely have some hairs, and it's really clinging. this big zit here let's see if that will cover oh that really clinged to like the dryness let me zoom you guys in really quick just so you could see right there it's like so dry also in some areas it really is patchy like right here i know that that was scary close but i just wanted you guys to see this is my bare skin on this side this is with the powder it's definitely i would say like a light to medium coverage not bad like from afar 
and if you really compare the sides you could definitely see a big difference even if I'm looking forward like here you could just see it definitely looks a lot better from afar but close up you can definitely see like some patchiness but I'm gonna try to build it up on this area right here because you could see that I do have quite a bit of like redness and scarring there so I'm just gonna pat over it a little bit more I can't seem to really build it. I feel like the more that I'm trying to build here, the more patchiness I'm getting and it just kind of is really clinging. Like it's literally clinging to all my peach fuzz and all of the hair that I have on my face. I didn't even realize my, haste, my face was so hairy until putting this on. But I think I'm just gonna stop there. I do feel like you can get it to medium. It is a little bit buildable, but definitely not full coverage. I finished applying this side overall not bad but when I look up close into the mirror I could definitely see quite a bit of patchiness it looks really really powdery on the skin and there is definitely transfer on my finger you could see there I don't know if this needs to set and then there's gonna be no transfer but I will be going out and running some errands and I'm gonna be wearing a mask so I'll show you guys if my mask has anything on and any transfer I kind of feel like maybe this foundation needs like half an hour or so to like sink in and maybe like my natural oils are gonna come up and make it look better I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and all right you guys so the powder products blush and highlight that's the only thing I put on it was so hard to put on it felt like as I was putting the blush on it was just like wiping off literally it I had to layer so much on to get any color and I still don't feel like I have enough color on my face like I would want more blush I feel like my skin is not that dry for it to look as dry as it does you know what I mean like Sahara desert dry oh actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little spritz of this elf uh spray this is really really hydrating it's a dewy mist so i'm gonna give it a little spray because honestly it looks so dry i want to see if this would help let's see let's see that definitely made it look slightly better but i mean it's the patchiness like didn't go away i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in natural daylight let's go all right here you go some natural daylight this is what it looks like no filter no nothing just the daylight and the camera you could see don't judge like all the hair on my face oops oops my double chin <laughs> You see, it looks like really good when I look like from afar and then like my hair kind of covers my cheeks a little bit. Like this looks pretty good. But then as soon as I get close to the camera, you can see how everything looks patchy and dry. Like over here, my forehead. Natural daylight is like the true test you could see for reals like everything that's happening in natural daylight because artificial lighting my artificial lighting sucks because i just have a ring light and on top of that it like goes up and down like the colors always change whereas like natural daylight is always going to be truest tone i guess basically so yeah so it's currently 2 34 and i just went to the store and i am wearing the mask for the first time since i left the house so i want to see if i got transfer or not oh yeah i definitely got tra oh look at that look at my nose we definitely got some transfer there's transfer up in here and on the sides as well not transfer resistance that's all lies <laughs> but if i'm being honest not as much came off as i thought would come off like, this is not bad. Like, my mask doesn't look like 
super super filthy you know what i mean i stepped outside so you guys could like really see in actual daylight again what's happening uh on my face oh somebody just was running by awkward <laughs> uh it's been five hours since this has been on my face so i think it's doing really really good for being on for five hours and i was taking the mask on and off consistently although there was some transfer it wasn't half as much as there usually would be with like a liquid foundation and powder i feel like there's usually a little bit more plus it's a lot harder to like touch up and i haven't touched up even once and i feel like i don't need to touch up yet overall i do feel like as the day has progressed my skin my natural oils have come in here you could see around my nose a little bit too there is a little bit of separation actually kind of happening right around here uh but nothing too bad usually it's a lot worse and overall i just feel like it looks way better it has been nine full hours since this foundation has been on my face and well ran a lot of errands and i've had a mask on a really big portion of the day i took it on and off on and off so i definitely got a lot of the powder rubbed off my nose i did not touch up throughout the day at all so considering that i didn't touch up at all i feel like it's not bad however in person and like close up you could really see like where the areas that have been rubbed off look pretty bad it got really oily and it started doing this weird separating thing right here it looks really bad i'm just gonna go in with the sponge and just see how it's gonna look if i reapply it around the nose like if i wanted to touch up Yeah, so it does it basically does the same thing like it kind of just catches on to certain areas from afar looks pretty good You can see it like mattified this side this side looks a lot more oily, but in person it just it's it's really bad It literally clings to like certain areas a lot more than others and That's exactly what it did when I first initially applied it so it doesn't get better once your natural oils kick in it kind of does the same thing so i don't know i think that like overall it's okay like if you have really nice skin to begin with and your skin is really oily i think you might like wearing this on its own but i would say that i'd i wouldn't wear it on its own ever again i would definitely avoid it if you have dry skin because like i said it really does cling to your dry spots these are my final thoughts i will repurchase it as a powder that i want with extra coverage i think that honestly powder foundations i don't think they're for me i really don't think they're for me but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos and i will see you guys in my next one hey yo galileo i it's the next day and i just wanted to give another little try for this foundation i just feel like i don't want to give up on it you know what i mean like i had such high hopes for it and it just didn't do it for me and i just want to give it another go but i'm gonna do it with a little concealing first and then i'll just put this on top i'm gonna go in with my elf concealer i absolutely love this concealer well, i don't know what happened to it look this must be some kind of weird chemical reaction because this one doesn't look like that is this is this supposed to happen i mean i just bought it this is brand new this is brand new so i don't know okay so i'm just gonna spot conceal with this basically just cover up some of this acne scarring i have happening just a really light thin kind of layer and then i'm gonna go in with this on top and just use a nice big powder brush and see how that wears I low key think that this color is a little too dark for me <laughs> it's kind of yellowish looking but i'm just gonna do a little what of concealer that's a little lighter like that <laughs> i'm gonna try to fix this situation up a little bit and then i'm thinking the powder will probably help a little too i'm gonna just put this and just like dunk my brush this big fluffy brush kind of dunk it in and then i'm just gonna go over this just really quickly looks really good okay um this looks so much better 
It is way less patchy. It went on so nice with this fluffy brush. Also, it looks way less dry now that I've applied it with a fluffy brush. Like, it actually, this looks really good. All right, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. BRB. I finished my makeup. Honestly, I don't know what happened, but I, I did my wing line. I did a wing liner, okay? Anyways, uh, it is looking so good. Honestly, on top of the concealer, it looks so, so nice. My skin looks really, really natural and not dry at all. So I absolutely love it. I honestly could get away with not using a little bit of a hydrating mist, dewy mist, but I want a little bit more dew. I like when my skin looks a little bit more glossy, dewy. I'm okay with my skin looking more oily rather than dry. Even though it doesn't look dry, I'll just add a little bit of this, you know, why not? And then I'll... This is really good too, by the way. This is by e.l.f. I really, really like it. It's very affordable and it's a good little mist. And then I just kind of go over top real quick also my blush actually went on really well on top of this and i think i'm gonna add a little more blush because you know why not why not add a little more i absolutely love the way it looks it looks so natural on the skin it feels so lightweight it feels like i'm not wearing makeup on my face like i feel like i'm not wearing any foundation nothing zero weight but look how good my skin looks. It doesn't look dry. It looks it looks pretty flawless, honestly. So I totally forgot to show you guys at the end of the day when I got back home because I got back home late, but I wore it for a solid 10 hours and I touched up only once throughout the day and it was more towards the end of the day and it was just around my nose where it usually tends to get a little creasy. But basically this is amazing on top of concealer. I'm sure it would look good on top of foundation as well. With a big powder brush, it's literally amazing beautiful and it's now going to be a part of my collection you guys however i'll never wear it on its own ever again just because i do feel like it's really patchy and it just did not look good on its own but that's just my opinion hope you guys like this video i'll see you in my next one bye